I am so excited to be here with you guys today. I've been wanting to make the famous venenosas from Mexico, Las de Jose, if you know, you know. So guess what I got? Some motherfucking non-alcoholic Corona. And guess what? We're gonna infuse these bitches. I'm gonna be infusing these venenosas two ways. I have my infused guacamaya because guacamaya is my favorite hot sauce. And I have some infused tahini. So this is the guacamaya. I am gonna fill up this glass. And then the way that I'm gonna infuse it is I'm gonna add some of this wedding cake coconut oil that I made the other day. This is uh, 364 milligrams. I'm gonna be using two tablespoons. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to warm it up slightly. Coconut oil is pretty warm now. I'm gonna shake the whole jar. This mixed pretty well. As always, I always label all of my infusions. I'm also gonna be infusing my drink with some Soul Delicious seasoning. It comes with 10 little individual packets and each packet is 10 milligrams. I'm gonna take one of these, put it in this cup. I'm also gonna mix it with some tahini. And then I'm just gonna mix that up. So now we have infused tahini. I'm gonna take a Pyrex glass and I'm basically gonna make like that clamato uh, chile mixture that they put in the micheladas. This is half a cup of clamato. Le vamos a echar un poquito de Maggi. We're gonna put a little bit of Maggi. One tablespoon of the infused guacamaya that I made earlier. Le vamos a echar limón. I'm gonna put half of a lime. I'm gonna mix this. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Oh my God, this is so good. All right, so we have our preparada mixture. Since we're gonna be rimming the outside of the bottle, I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna dress the outside of my Corona bottle. This is already washed and clean and dried. That way the chamoy will stick to it. I would have loved to make my own chamoy, which I've made it before, but I definitely wanna remake it for you guys because it's made with all natural cheeless, like it's not just melting all that shit together. But anyway, for now, this is the chamoy that I'm gonna use. This is why I wanted to use a tall glass so I can just stick the beer. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, that shit looks so good. I got my Corona bottle all nice and dressed. I'm gonna pop her open, pour some of it in here so I could pour some of that Clamato mixture in here. You guys have no idea how hyped I was when I saw that Corona came out with their own non-alcoholic beer. I've gone almost three years without drinking alcohol, so I'm always on the hunt for like non-alcoholic shit. But anyway, we're gonna get some of the Corona poured in here because we wanna make room for the Clamato mixture. I'm so thirsty. That tastes like the real fucking shit. Guys, if you're stuck in the loop of trying to quit drinking, give give these non-alcoholic beers a try. Give non-alcoholic drinks a fucking try. It's a fucking game changer. Most of the time we're just craving like the flavor or we're just used to having like something cute to hold in our hand. Give it a fucking try. I'm gonna get my funnel. I bought this funnel specifically for this. So I'm gonna get my funnel. Ay, no le cabe. <laughs> ah! Le vamos a echar el clamato. Actually, let me mix this one more time. Okay, so ahora le vamos a echar el clamato. Ah! I'm so fucking excited to drink this. I've been so envious of all you guys enjoying this fucking venenosa. Nuts. Unas venenosas, Jose. Well, creo que ni puedo con ella. Mira. 
think I made the perfect amount of liquid to put in here. I honestly thought that it was gonna overflow, but it's, so far it's not. So now for the fucking best part. Hold on, let me adjust my camera. Lord, this is fucking bomb. This tastes like the real shit. It's so weird sometimes not drinking alcohol because sometimes I feel like I might slip up and accidentally drink some alcohol. But drinking this uh, preparada is what I would call it, is a fucking game changer. It tastes like the real thing, uh, satisfying my craving. I've been craving a michelada for so long. And now I can make my own.